Judge T.S. Ellis brings T. Muller to tears in another courtroom beatdown by Amy Moreno for TruthFeedNews.com. So this is the attorney that was uh, tearing in uh, the uh, courtroom. Well, things are uh, not going well for T. Muller in the trial of Paul Manafort. Judge T.S. Ellis is not thrilled with the grandstanding and bias that Mueller's team uh, is showing. It's gotten so bad that one of Mueller's uh, prosecutors was actually crying. From Bloomberg, tensions at the Paul Manafort fraud trial grew so heated Monday that the judge suggested that one of Robert Mueller's prosecutors was crying during a discussion out of the jury's earshot according to a transcript of the proceedings. I understand how frustrated you are, U.S. District uh, Judge T.S. Ellis III said during the discussion. In fact, there's t there are tears in your eyes right now when Prosecutor uh, Greg Andres uh, protested that he, he didn't have tears in his eyes. The judge shot back. Well, they're watery. The exchange came during testimony by Manafort, former right-hand man Rick Gates, who offered dramatic details about how he stole hundreds of thousands of dollars from his boss while helping him hide offshore accounts from U.S. tax authorities and defraud bankers to secure loans. Mueller's team has clashed repeatedly with Ellis, who uh, questions the relevance of detailed uh, evidence about Mueller's work as a political consultant in the Ukraine, where prosecutors say he made more than $60 million from 2010 to 2014. Some of those confrontations continued in uh, bench conferences that jurors and dozens of media members could hear in federal court in Alexandria, Virginia. Andres complained that Ellis was blocking him from asking important questions while placing an emphasis on moving quickly at the bank and tax fraud trial of Manafort. President Donald Trump's former campaign chairman, Ellis, disagreed, saying he wasn't emphasizing speed over substance. The judge continued that delay is unnecessary and prosecutors should stick to the relevant evidence. What follows is taken from the transcript. Look at me when you're talking to me, Ellis said to Andres. I'm sorry, Judge, I was, Andres said. No, you weren't, Ellis said. You were looking down because I don't want to get in trouble for some facial expression. The prosecutor said, I don't want to get yelled at again by the court for having some facial expression when I'm not doing anything wrong but trying my case. Ellis said to another prosecutor, you must be quiet. I'm sorry, Judge Andrus said. Well, I understand how frustrated you are. In fact, there are tears in your eyes right now. There are not tears in my eyes, Judge Andrus said. Well, they're watery, Ellis said. Look, I want you to focus sharply on what you need to prove, to prove the crime. And I don't understand what a lot of these questions have to do with it. The lawyers then returned to open court and further snipped uh, snipping uh, ensued after jurors left for the day. At the end of the day, Andres apologized to the judge, saying he didn't mean to be disrespectful. The judge seemed to offer a knowledge olive branch. Don't worry about it, said Ellis, a 31-year-old, 31-year uh, uh, veteran of the bench. I'm not concerned about that at all. I remember trying cases. Ellis said uh, he had uh, cases that were important to him in his career. I remember the stress, I remember the pressure, he said. This is stressful, uh, a stressful time, so I understand that. But I'm trying to minimize the stress time is all I'm trying to do, and I think we can do it. I don't think this case is as complex as it could be made to be. Gates returned to the witness stand, uh, returns to the witness stand uh, uh, Tuesday morning. Uh, so we haven't heard what happened then. But I, I see that Judge uh, T.S. Ellis, uh, I think, has had enough of the shenanigans from the Manafort um, prosecutors there. Yeah, well, <laughs> they are not, they're not watery. <laughs> I'm not crying. They're not, they're watery. <laughs> 
you know, you can't make this stuff up. This is funny. Uh, let me know what you guys think in the comments below. And again, thank you so much for watching.